Hey guys, what's up? Of course, welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I am back in the building with another video, guys, as promised. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make my delicious spicy fried catfish, guys. Yes. So without further ado, let's get started. I can't wait, I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, guys, I, to this bowl, I have cornmeal as well as garlic powder, onion powder, Creole seasoning, gotta have the seasoning, right? Paprika, a little lemon pepper, ground black pepper, more pepper, right? <laughs> as well as cayenne pepper for that extra kick of spice. Yes, it's gonna lighten up your life. <laughs> as well as a little chili powder and a little accent to, you know, Bring it all together as well as some flour, all-purpose flour. To this bowl, guys, I'm going to add the all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Add it all up in there. And I'm also going to add our garlic powder. As well as our onion powder. Creole seasoning. Smoked paprika. If you don't have smoked paprika, you can always use regular paprika. Lemon pepper, ground black pepper. You season it, they taste delicious, but you know how it, oh my God, you know how it, how it does. As well as our um, cayenne pepper, make you sneeze your head off. And our chili powder. As well as a little pinch of accent. And the reason why I'm using this is to tie all the flavors together. It's going to make it taste even better. But if you don't want to use it, you could always exclude it. And we are going to combine. We're going to use our hands today, guys. We're going to use these lovely fingers that God has blessed us with. And we're going to mix everything together. Together. So how have you guys been? I hope everyone is doing great. Yes. It's almost the weekend, almost here. It's Friday, guys. Fishy Friday, fish fry Friday. Gonna give every, gonna mix it up really good because this is gonna be our coating for our fish. All right, that should be good. All right. Wipe my hands off just a bit. Thank you. And we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients at this point. To the right of me, or actually to your left, I have some Frank's hot sauce. And I'm gonna add it to the catfish. It's not gonna make the catfish uh, spicy. It's just going to work as a agent to help the uh, dry ingredient or the flour and the cornmeal stick to the catfish even better. Not to mention, I washed it off camera, washed it with a little salt, salt and water, soaked it. You know, and um, to wash your fish, you can always use lemon, fresh lemons, or you can use, like I said, a little salt and water, and that will get the job done. The fish is still damp, so either way, the coating is gonna stick to it, but I figure I use a little hot sauce anyway to make it just a little bit more damp. And also extra tasty. All right, once that's done, guys, we're gonna take it over here to our bowl, our bowl of seasoning. And we're gonna press the catfish in there and we're gonna coat it really nicely, guys. Just pat it on up in there. Pat, 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 like you're massaging it. Give this. <laughs> I was gonna say, guys, give your fish a massage. <laughs> massage your fish, guys. <laughs> don't mind me I'm, in, I'm just oh my god don't mind me guys that's just me and my personality my personality all right set it to the side and we're going to add the other one get it all up in there make sure the um the flour gets all into the creases and crevices of this fish. 
everything is sticking nicely. Perfect. It's a really easy um, recipe, guys. Really quick and easy. Nothing complicated. Once you have the seasonings on hand, that's all you need, really. Combine everything and put that fish in that fish fry, and that's it, guys. That is it. I just want to get all up in here, guys. Every little crack and crease and crevice. Oh, yes. Thank you. Got an extra plate. I'm just gonna place the battered uh, fish on a plate. Just set it to the side. Make room for the others. Make room for the others. Yes, guys, as I have mentioned in a previous video, I was missing in action for just a bit. We're just gonna say, we're gonna say just a bit, okay? <laughs> I know to you guys, it's been an eternity. I didn't realize that it was actually so long. Like I said, I was working on other stuff, other ventures. And I thought I had, you know, it's crazy. I set out to, I kind of set like a time frame, but I didn't anticipate that it was gonna take so long. But it did, unfortunately. So my apologies for missing in action. But now that I'm back, we're, we're back even better. Bigger and better, guys. Bigger and better. Revamped and ready to go. Place it right here, and we are going to do the same for the last one. And then we should be ready to fry it on up. So yeah, guys, the weekend is definitely almost here. So what are you guys planning? I know where I live. It's October. Well, it's October everywhere. <laughs> I went to say pretty much where I live. The weather is definitely changing. Definitely changing. It's getting much cooler. It took a while to do, you know, to get cooler. But now that um, it's getting cool, it seems like it's in full effect. Because one, it's weird because sometimes, I kid you not, it seems like one minute we're at 60 degrees and next minute we're like up to 80 degrees. Next day we're like at 50. It's like, make up your mind already. So annoying. I'm just gonna pat it in, pat that coating in there. And that's it, we're gonna get this out the way. Anyway guys, I have my deep fryer right here on hand, hot and ready to go. If you don't have a deep fryer, guys, use a um, cast iron skillet or even a, um, a pot with some oil and just make sure you place enough oil in there and you know a good amount of oil so you can deep fry it and that's it. You don't need a deep fryer. You can use a cast iron skillet or a regular pot with some oil. Make sure it's filled not too, not too much to the top. Make sure it's filled enough so you're able to submerge your food in there and you are good to go. I'm just gonna put two in there. Yeah, let's do this. And I'm gonna cover it down and allow it to do its thing for about maybe about, fish cooks fast, maybe about five to eight minutes, depending. Depending on, um, basically, you, you're gonna be able to tell, trust me, if your fish is done. Because everybody's deep fry setting is a little different, so, and everybody likes their fish a little dis different. Some people like it a little bit more on the soft the side and some people like it more on the crispier side so it's all up to the individual once it's nice and golden brown to your liking or once you start to smell the wonderful flavors and the aroma and everything else you know that it's done and from the looks of things this first batch is done i'm gonna um give you guys a close-up of me frying the second batch need to put the second batch in the deep fryer and let it fry on up. You know what? I'm gonna use my fingers. Sometimes your fingers work best. Put it this way right here. 
and down into the hot oil this thing goes. And we're gonna cover it up and just allow it to do its thing. And that's it, I can't wait guys, I'm like so happy. <laughs> I am like, oh my God, you don't know how bad I want to taste this catfish. Guys, as you can see, our second batch of catfish is done. Yes, guys, look at the golden brown beauty. Let's just fix it, just arrange it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now that is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I'm just gonna hit it off with a little bit of parsley to make it look even better. <laughs> and what we are trying to achieve here guys is a nice crispy outside and a nice moist inside our fish has to be moist on the inside and nice and crunchy and crispy on the outside so when you eat it it makes that crunchy sound <laughs> and of course i gotta take a taste it's now time for my favorite part guys it is oh my god as you can see, I drizzled it with just a little bit of lemon juice. I'm going to add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hit it off with my zesty ranch. If you guys haven't tried this, I don't know what you're waiting for. But first, I'm going to hit it off with some Frank's red hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Hot sauce. The sauce as well as the zesty ranch, and we are about to go in. Mmm. 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 Mmm, guys. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, goodness. This is so good, guys. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Ha-ha! <laughs> mmm. Oh my God. Woo, child. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys can hear the crunch. I know you can. And the inside is so nice and, oh my God. So nice and moist. Mm. This is perfection. I don't care what nobody says. Like I said, can't nobody tell me nothing right about it. Now, this is perfection, guys. This southern fried, what should I say, spicy. Spicy southern fried catfish is to die for. Yes. Let me tell you something, guys. Every single spice that was incorporated into that cornmeal is coming through. You taste the hint of chili. You taste the paprika. Even though they say paprika doesn't have any taste, I'm tasting everything. <laughs> You're tasting the um, the little bit of cayenne pepper. I mean, the, the lemon pepper, everything is just like, like I have so many notes in my mouth right now. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am your girl, cooking with Tammy live. Yes, I am. <laughs> and definitely, like I said, give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Until next time.